tips and tricks. A lot of you people have just received your shiny new Mark 7s, which is very exciting. I'm going to tell you a couple things about that. And also, perhaps even bigger news, we've just released a brand new version of Replicator G 0026. First off, let's talk about Mark 7. Using a Mark 7 is going to be really similar to your experience with Mark 6. The biggest change for people who have been using 3mm filament is that there's no thumb screw. That means you're going to have to do your filament loading and unloading with the motor. Just heat up your hot end and then tell it to go forward to load the, uh, the filament in. The very first time you load it, you might need to use a little force just to make sure it gets past the Delrin plunger. Whenever you want to unload it, just make sure that the hot end is hot and use the motor to back the filament right out. Replicator G26 has all of the drivers and profiles that you'll need to use your Mark 7. You'll find the drivers in the uh, machine drivers folder and you'll find the profiles in the generate g-code dialog. Along with Replicator G26 we've also released an amazing new firmware version 3.0. There are just a couple things that you need to know about that. First off Firmware 3 is not going to run with any older Replicator Gs, so make sure you go to the website and download 0026. It'll also show you a nasty error message if you try to upgrade without that. Also, make sure that you upgrade both your extruder and motherboard to Firmware 3.0 at the same time. 